Number six. Some binary compounds are ionic, others are covalent. The type of bond favored partially depends on the position of the elements in the periodic table. Label each of these claims as true or false. If false, specify the nature of the error. A. Covalently bonded, binary molecular compounds are typically composed of nonmetals. Right, so uh, we've got a little bit of a redundancy here in the statement. Covalently bonded molecular compounds, that's redundant. If it is a molecular compound, that means that the atoms are covalently bonded within it. Right, so those are connected, covalent bonds and molecules. But here, are they typically composed of nonmetals? Yes, that's how we know that the bond involved is covalent as opposed to ionic. B, binary ionic compounds are composed of metals and nonmetals, typically from opposite sides of the periodic table. That is also true, typically from the opposite sides of the periodic table. Now you might be thinking, okay, typically, does that not mean all the time? Are there times where there is a metal and a non-metal ionically bonding that are from the same side of the periodic table? Yes. There are such things as P metal, oh sorry, P block metals. Okay, things like aluminum, maybe tin or lead. All of those elements are in the P block. So typically, however, most of the metals are from the left side of the periodic table, you know, counting the D block as the left side of the periodic table. But it's an ionic compound when there's a metal and a nonmetal. Metal and a nonmetal together, that is an ionic bond. 